October and we start to make the dessert. Rhubarb carpaccio, we're doing rhubarb carpaccio. We um, peel the rhubarb, the skin, mm -hmm. keep the skin for the, we need, we need the skin later, yeah? So keep it, don't throw it away. Then we cut uh, the rhubarb into dices from this size, so five, or s five or six centimeters. <coughs> but they are together, so it's a bar, like a bar. You know what I mean? Um, it's still raw, so we keep it aside. For the syrup, we took the skin, some water and sugar, I think, and reduce it for until it's tasty. We go to, to cook the syrup with the skin, the sugar and the water, and we cook the, the bar, the cut it bar, in the fong, just put it in the fong until it's the, the fong, the syrup, the syrup, until it's uh, soft, yeah? That should be fine for at home. In this restaurant, we go into vacuum back the, the rhubarb or the, the bars, puts the fong into it. Ah, it's the gin, mar gin huh? uh, um, marinate the fong with the gin and some janapa berries. We vac vac it all and then we do it in the, in the steamer. After the, the rhubarb bar is done, it's soft, just cool it down and then you can cut the rhubarb into, into thin slices and arrange it on a plate. For, for the shiny thing, when you, when you cut the bar into thin slices, arrange it on the, on a, on a shopping board. And then for the shiny thing, uh, you thicken the, the syrup with um, some cornstarch and you, you glaze the, the rhubarb to make it shiny, to marinate it as well. And on top we put some, some chopped pistachios and juniper berries. Yeah? Juniper berries because um, gin is made of juniper berries as well, so you get the same, almost the same flavor. Now we're going to start with the creme brulee. You just um, mix the cream, the eggs, the vanilla and the sugar all together, whisk it until it's all... Exactly, thank you. <laughs> and um, put the cream into small cups, maybe some small cups, uh, some small molds, whatever you want. Um, and poach it into an oven. Yeah? We'll get a, take a tray, put some uh, bit water on the ground, some paper, and take the cups into the tray. If the cups are into the, the, the bain-marie, um, you can poach that into a normal oven, just with the, the heat around, for um, around 10-15 minutes and 120 degrees. So the air is hot, the water is steaming, and the, the cream, the eggs, to, to get thick around at 80, 75, 80 degrees, they get thick. Yeah? The steamer, it's more easier. easier. You just um, do the mixture with the eggs cream, um, put it into the mold, cover it with cling film and uh, do it in the steamer on uh, 80 degrees for about uh, half an hour. Yeah? That's lower heat and uh, it's more, more safe. This is so caramelized nachher. Now caramelize the cream brulee until it's um, the brown sugar. We use always brown sugar for this. You have a salamander or you have a gas burner like this. Um, I think you always already can buy gas burners into in the in the supermarket. Now the, he put the cream brulee on top the on the rhubarb. For the flavor, he put. The, the raspberry, marinate the raspberry with uh, some sugar and or some, some alcoholics, yeah, w some rum or raspberry liqueur or whatever you like. And on top is the, the green tea air, like the lemon air, what I said before. 